Chuck would yep. be perfect oh boy. for the wife carrying oh contest. Oh. They do it every year at Lookout Pass. <laughs> uh, they're doing it this weekend. Uh, this was taken today. My friend Jason Bergman up at Lookout Pass. What a view. They've had two feet of snow since Sunday. None in the last 24 hours, but there are powder stashes still to be had. They have their big winter carnival this weekend at Lookout Pass. It is going to be a blast. This picture taken today at Schweitzer Mountain. Uh, they've got fun things going on this weekend, including fireworks. Uh, that is always very exciting. It's Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. Uh, lovely things happening up at the ski resorts. Torchlight Parade, also fun. Uh, Scott Travis, one of our beloved engineers, longtime engineers, uh, is on the ski patrol at Mount Spokane on Wednesday nights. No shenanigans on Wednesday nights if you're night skiing, but he took that picture of the hut up there at the top of the mountain for the ski patrol. He said it was cold up there, but he didn't want to go in because the conditions are so good. This taken today at 49 They've got powder stashes. Another shot from Silver Mountain taken today. You can get above the fog and low clouds that we're going to be socked in with tomorrow at the ski resorts. Uh, our odds of seeing much sunshine a little bit in question. Skies are clear right now, and that is allowing our temperature to plummet. It is 2 right now in Spokane. Once that fog begins to develop and spread across the region, uh, we will see those temperatures increase just a little bit three uh, right now in Coeur d'Alene. On our satellite and radar right now, we have high pressure in control, keeping the storms away, keeping a stagnant air mass locked in for the next few days. But boy, are we going to see some changes heading into next week, including some warmer weather and wetter weather. I want to show you our national high temperature map because it is bonkers. Uh, big dip in the jet stream here with the Arctic air making its way in through a good portion of the country. But look what is happening on the other side of the front in the 70s in Washington, D.C. It was 68 degrees in New York. Here we are in the depths of winter. Um, 78 in Dallas. It was in the 80s in San Antonio. The bad news along that front is where we found some messy weather still recovering from some ice storm conditions as a result of that front. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. 17 tomorrow, 17 on Saturday, a slight chance of snow on Sunday, and then temperatures popping up above freezing, quite a bit above freezing on Wednesday with rain. We are going to be melting some major snow and that is likely to cause some problems. Rises on rivers and streams, some urban flooding, blocked storm drains. My storm drain is under a berm of about five feet, feet of snow. And ice, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, so that snow is going to start melting mm -hmm. fast and it's yeah. not going to have anywhere to go. So, okay. and the ground frozen solid, I'll keep you updated. Yeah, for sure.